On the last episode, I covered building the 49er QRP transceiver. Today, I will show you how I added the IK3 OIL FFL VFO and a circuit to allow FL Digi to key the transceiver, next on Broken Signal. There is a popular DDS VFO that uses an Arduino that is often used for the 49er, but I chose to use the FLL VFO by IK3 OIL because I had it laying around from a previous BitX20 project. Luckily, the changes needed to the 49er are the same for both VFOs, so I'll start there. First, I replaced the C2 with an 82PF capacitor. Next, I removed the crystal and inserted a 22UH inductor in series with a 56PF capacitor. Moving on to the transmit side of things, I removed the crystal to install a 3-pin header. By bending the middle pin that goes into the board, I could tap it to the ground point that was meant to ground the crystal. W1 gets replaced with a jumper, and C456 and R3 get removed. Then R5 is replaced with a 10K ohm resistor, and a D2 is replaced with a 4.7 volt Zener diode. When inserting the IC into U2, I bend the seventh pin so it does not go into the socket. Then on the underside of the board, I solder a jumper from C5 to C10. Now the 49er is ready for a VFO. The IK3 OIL FFL VFO I had previously used on a bit X20 is in the 20 meter band, so I needed to modify it for the 40 meter band. I started by removing the torrid and rewrapping 21 turns of magnetic wire with a tap at 6 turns, then resoldering it to the board. Then I needed to replace capacitor C5 with 150 PF and C9 with 180 PF. I also needed to add an additional BB204, but they are getting hard to find. I ordered one from China on eBay and am waiting for it to arrive. Without it, the VFO is not quite stable, but I'll move on. You could then fine tune using C8 and C6. I then mounted all components in a metal case, placing the LCD display, 10 turn potentiometer, and power switch on the front panel. On the rear panel is power, antenna, and audio input. I didn't mount an audio output because I plan to use my RSP1A for receiving and making this a transmit only radio. Next, I wired everything up and connected the FLL VFO out to the 49er by the three header pin I installed. And the final piece is something to take the audio from FL Digi and key the 49er transceiver. I had some spare 5 LED audio level display meters left over from a previous project and decided to try one. They will run on 12 volts, take the audio from FL Digi, and the chip on it provides ground to the LEDs. I was able to tap onto the first LED and it would provide ground to the 49er keying circuit. While not the most elegant solution, it was quick and works. I adjusted the potential meter so that only the first LED lights up when FL Digi is sending audio. Now to test the 49er, I connected a 50 ohm dummy load and used my RSP1A to view the CW that was being transmitted. I wouldn't try to make contacts with it until the BB204 comes in and I get the VFO more stable. I'll give an update when that happens. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next project. Thanks for watching.